Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be revisiting our old friend, the LEGO 2x4 brick. And today we are going to try and show you how to 3D print one. But the first thing before we do any of that, before I show you the slicer software, Kira, anything like that, we need to go to file, go to prepare, model properties, and make sure your units are in millimeters because Cura, our slicing software, it does not recognize the imperial system. So no inches, feet, anything like that. Make sure it's in millimeters. I'm fortunately in millimeters already, but in case you were stuck in inches, what you do is go to uh, millimeters, go to set, then do convert dimensions. Do not do interpret in dimensions unless uh, you really did. Um, you really did bake it in. You know, you meant it to be in millimeters, but then Creo already made it in inches. So, your if you follow my video and tutorial, you're going to want to do the uh, convert dimensions. Hit OK, and then close close. Now the next thing we're going to have to do is turn this brick into an STL. An STL is basically what all the 3D printers slicing software uses uh, to be able to um, to be able to upload it and turn it into a G code which is what the 3D printers themselves use. So the process is our 3D model to an STL to a G code. So what that looks like is we go to File, go to Save As, and save a copy. Click STL, and make sure you hit Customize Export, and hit OK. And let's see what our mesh looks like. So this is our current mesh, which is really good. But yours may look something a little bit more like this. Yeah, yours might look something a little bit like this. And in that case, you'll notice just how terrible the mesh is. Like, that's a really bad mesh. But don't worry, there is a way for us to fix this. Go to Step Size and divide this number by something like 3, for example. Hit Apply. And it's a little bit better. It's still a little rough, but it's a little bit better. So let's divide it by two and hit apply. And that's a better mesh, but I want my mesh to be really nice. So I'm going to divide it by two one more time. There we go. Now that is a good mesh. So hit OK. And now you can open Cura. So in Cura, what we're going to do is go to File, and we are going to open our recent STL. And you'll notice that the LEGO brick is incredibly small, but it's not that it actually is that small. What it is is this is just a very big 3D printer bed, um, so our LEGO brick is just fine. And we're going to rotate this model to be right side up. Now, here's the reason why we want it to be right side up is because in 3D printing, there is something that we grow to hate, and that is called overhangs. What is an overhang? Well, an overhang is whenever you have a part of a model that is unsupported or uh, doesn't have anything underneath of it to hold it up. So for example, if this Lego brick was rotated at a 45 degree angle here, there's nothing to hold this model up at that angle. So what the Cura does is Cura adds in supports for us. Supports are like these little dangly things, uh, these little spirally bits of plastic that hold the model up um, so that you can have it printed properly. But we want to avoid those as much as possible, so you'll have to get clever in how you angle your uh, model and um, 
what angle you put your Lego brick at to minimize the amount of supports that you need. The problem is with Lego bricks in particular is that there will always really be a side that uh, uses supports and there's not really much of anything that we have to stop that. Um, so once you've adjusted your Lego brick, and it might take a little bit of time to get it flat, we even have this little option, this button here called lay flat, and boom, the computer laid it for us. Very nice. So the next thing you're going to go to is this little blue button down here called slice. Alrighty. So the model, or the program's telling us that it's going to take 30 minutes to print. It probably isn't. It's probably going to take us an hour to print. Usually whatever the time is said down here, always double that. Um, and uh, we can also look at the layers. So you remember those supports that I mentioned? Well, look what happens when we move this layer bar down. You'll notice that there's this blue stuff in the layers. Those are going to be the supports printed on the inside of the Lego brick. Because remember, this part of the Lego brick is hollow. There's nothing holding up the ceiling um, in the Lego brick. So Kira places these supports in there for us so that uh, our model can actually print. But yeah, you probably want to make sure you have a tool like some tweezers or something or a pair of snippers to be able to get those supports out if you want to print it. And we can also retrace the steps of the 3D printer nozzle using this lower button down here, or lower slider thing. And that little thing up there simulates what the nozzle will do when it's printing each layer. So right now, this is what the steps for layer 33 would look like. And if I wanted to see what layer 14 looks like, we can also see what the printer will do for layer 14. Alrighty. Now I'm going to save my model because I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. And normally we would have a... Um, a flash drive in here. Mine is currently in the shop, but you would want to save it to your flash drive. But I'm just going to slip. Uh, I'm just going to save this file to my 3D CAD file. And notice how this is in a G code. Yep, we took an STL, turned it into a G code using uh, Cura. And remember, an STL will not work with your 3D printer. You need it to be in the form of a G code. So hit save. Alrighty, well, hopefully this tutorial was helpful and I wish you luck on your printing adventures.